What are you doing? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up, Aaron. <laughs> what are you up to? Just eating olives after midnight. <laughs> Good morning. What is this? We are going to make a video today about a day, wait, a Saturday in the life of Katie. A Saturday? Yeah, and you don't know about this at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just gonna document you, like, what you're up to, like wildlife photography or whatever. <laughs> We're gonna see what Katie really, does. It's gonna be really boring. What is it, Katie? I didn't plan Fun. That's the point. Oh, no. What does a Katie do on a Saturday? We're all about to find out. We're about to have toast and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> you made it seem like you were going to do something, so I sat here waiting like, is he going to, it's going to take toast away from me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a thing. It's just going to be, put the camera next to the bed <laughs> so when I wake up, it's right there. All right. I got to get up. You can sleep in if you want. It's whatever you do on Saturdays. And I get up and I have to. Dbot takes forever. His app is really slow. Yeah, I know. That's new, isn't it? Nobody knows what Dbot is. Oh, they're about to find out. <laughs> and and he's so slow that they're not going to find out for like a while. So but let me set his uh, trajectory. Boop, boop. Dbot speaks Japanese. <laughs> oh, I gotta move this. So we have a robot vacuum who, who will come out soon, but you gotta move all the stuff out of his way. So we've got about like five things that need to be moved from this room to another. This is the stuff about owning a robot vacuum that uh, you don't think about before you purchase him. Well, pet ownership is important. Yeah. <laughs> and you got some rules. You also have to move the curtains. <laughs> now this isn't necessarily like a Saturday thing. No, it's an everyday thing. And then now we'll do my Saturday stuff, which is toast. <laughs> <laughs> you you recently sent me like some some it's not an infographic, it's just some pictures some idiot put on the internet. And it, the person was saying that, uh, like, the ways that you can store bread and the bottom, the, the, like, monster label, like, this person is a monster if they keep their bread in the freezer. And I keep my bread in the freezer. You keep your bananas in the fridge. You're all over the map. I want things to last for a really long time as opposed to them being fresh and, <laughs> <laughs> and going bad. So, since I made this choice, I've never had to throw away bread. So this has been like four years of never throwing away a piece of bread. But you have to be into like frozen chunks of bread at this point, right? Nope, you gotta put it in the microwave. Can I ask you a question? What's going on with this situation? Oh no! This is grizzled. I'm not gonna eat oatmeal today. Oh man, is that is the inside of the banana gonna mount the outside of the banana, or is it safe? I'll eat it if it's not. Right now it's safe. Okay, Feel it. so I'll, it's I'll about eat, firmness. I'll eat this banana. We're all good. Okay. Yeah, I only eat bananas on weekdays. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start this. You gotta do it on the defrost. And, oh, now you gotta get the toaster out. This is this is amazing footage. Americans don't have, uh, they, they have all their appliances on the counter. We don't have much counter, <laughs> so I gotta put it back in the freezer. You think this video is gonna end up being as long as you're awake that long, like 14 hours or whatever? I don't know, you're the editor. <laughs> This Whoa. is our toaster. Whoa. Wow. Wow. I'm going to switch sides with you. I'm walking your head. This 
toaster gets way more use than I ever thought a toaster would get. It's not really a toaster. What are these things called in like English? Like, is it a toast? A toaster this, oven. This is a toaster oven. Yeah. But we don't own a toaster anymore. We used to have that pig toaster, but it stopped working. Yeah. The pig toaster. The cow pig toaster. We had the cow pig toaster, and then we had another toaster after that. The bear. Oh, remember we had a toaster that made bears on the bread? Yeah. <laughs> and now we got have this, which, yeah, I wish I had bears on the bread, but get out of the way. My toast is on its way. Your toast isn't frozen anymore. <laughs> Gonna be like three and some change. Yeah, you gotta get your cutting board. You really want to be in this part, but the light, I gotta the light be looks in that a lot part. better, so we'll have to go back and forth. It makes it more interesting for the viewer too. Does it really? Sides. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <To> switch sides <laughs> repeatedly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then. Hold on a second. He's busy. Don't <laughs> interrupt him. He didn't sign a release. <laughs> Then you have to get all the things you're going to put onto your toast, and we call it weird toast. Most people would be putting bread, or bread, <laughs> put bread on your bread, <laughs> um, would be putting butter, and I do that on one-fourth of it. This is like <laughs> some Korean paste that I can never say, gochujang. Oh, gochujang? Gochujang. Okay. Yeah, it's just a spicy spread, Korean spicy spread, I like that. And then, there it is. Miso, it has a feeling like Vegemite or Marmite. You said you were going to do a quarter. That's only three items you're putting on top. Is there Don't something worry. Oh. The other one's not in the fridge. Oh, And funny. then, yeah, so you got sweet, spicy, salty, and butter. Because you can't not have butter. Hold on a second. Got a little noisy for a second. Oh man, everybody's gonna know I'm crazy. Yeah, you are crazy. Damn it. With the weird toast? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, scale just came out. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You gotta measure gotta your butter? To, yeah, I gotta learn how to eyeball three grams so that uh, people don't get to see this. Uh, but you gotta zero out your shit. There's smoke coming out of the oh, It's just steam because the bread is frozen. <laughs> it's got water in it. Oh, it's just steam? Okay, that's yeah. good. I never noticed it before. Bam! Three grams. I put that to the side, and now I'm done with the butter, and I wait for it to cook. It's, um... Is it, you get, you get, cook? Is that the right verb? Toast. Toast. Hold um, on a second here. Breakfast is all about efficiency. You want your robot cook, like cooking. You want your robot cleaning your shit, and you want to get all your stuff ready before your toast goes. And if you have extra time, you put away the dishes. <laughs> Lately, I have been forgetting to put away this. You know how I go through times where I forget to flush the toilet a lot? <laughs> yes. Yes, it's just like this. I'm aware of all these things. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why that happens, but I don't need that. You have to have a cup of water with breakfast. The entire thing, all in one shot. Jug, jug, jug. I'll just I'll kick the whole thing back before every meal. She'll have a big chug of water. And then when she's done, she can explain why she does this, because there's logic to the madness. Uh-oh, there might, might not be time for oh the explanation. No. <laughs> I seriously do try to compete with the timer. And I did not sort of do a good job today. It basically just helps your digestive system. It gets everything starting to flow before you put the food in. And you think it helps you feel more full so you don't eat as much as well? Yeah, that definitely happens too. And. Uh, it gets me drinking water, which I didn't do before. I was like, you know what? You're just going to drink glasses of water before all your meals. It and also then, sets the 45-minute timer. 
and then that goes back in the dirty dishes. But the clean dishes. In the clean dishes, and uh, <laughs> nobody else is allowed to use that. Like if a guest comes over, I have to be like, no, 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 you can't use that one. <laughs> we, we only have one water cup right now <laughs> because I broke the other one. So right now there's one glass for water. Guests have to drink straight out of the tap. I drink out of those little cups you put in there. I drink out of those all the time because there's not enough water glasses. Oh, you do? Yeah. I, I do it if I'm taking like a thing of medicine. All right. This video is already like 10 minutes long. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, my life, my life is 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> I think Bebop might be coming in here. Oh no. No, we're, he's, he's gonna go to the hallway first. And rumble with the Ginkon. And rumble with the Ginkon, yeah. Sometimes he gets uh, confused. We've even set up like a virtual barrier in his app and he's just like, no, oh, those shoes need to be clean. <laughs> he goes to the shoe area. <laughs> okay, right. so you cut the bread into that one piece in half. Mm-hmm. And I put the butter on that half. Okay. And now I'm gonna put the spicy sauce on the other half. I was wondering if, like, when you only had three items, if you were gonna have a piece of plain toast, but that's very not you. No. Oh, that sounds really boring. When I go over to people's houses and I stay the night at their house, I do this. I go through all of their cabinets and mm. I look for what to put on the weird toast. Do you and bring your own frozen bread? <laughs> Well, I will think it out. I'm like, are they going to have bread or am I, are they not going to have bread? So I might thaw two pieces of bread to take over to their house. Yes, I have done that. It's not so weird toast anymore, though, since you do it literally every... You do it Sunday, too, don't you? Saturdays and Sundays. It's a weekend thing. And then... So, you gotta put the top on this because if it falls on the ground or you get your hand in it, it is not a good time. It's a weird slimy feeling. Not slimy, it's like gritty and sticky and mm. sludgy. Nailing this. I'd like to point out that your bootsies are pretty cute. Mm -hmm. The nickname for those are, what the fuck are those? <laughs> I've been noticing that I get these little hairs on the toast, and I don't know where they come from. You're getting some hairy toast? What's yeah. going on? I think that the sponge gets stuck in the cutting board. I'm really giving you <laughs> all the things I think about, okay? And uh, where'd the honey go? The honey got to change things up because you can't scoop it. Well, you got to measure it on the thing. Mm -hmm. three grams as well. Yep. Do you know how many calories all this adds up to? I have news. That's an exclamation point. I consider it between 250 to 300 calories. And so everybody's probably like, wow, that's not a whole lot. You know what? I plan on using those calories somewhere else in the day. Mm. Because it's Saturday and I can go out to all... Did he already finish the hallway? Yeah, dude. The hallway is small. d -bot. There's too many people, too many people in the kitchen! <laughs> wow, he is rolling through. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of this. This butter distribution? Well, no, that it didn't melt. Oh. Was that because our timing is messed up because of the video? A uh, little bit, not because of the video, it's because I didn't finish the uh, dishes, so mm. I had to... He's... He's gonna come at you no matter what. You can't get away. <laughs> the time that I spent doing those dishes let the toast cool down. And, <laughs> 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 and sometimes I let it cook longer than... And I didn't. So... Did you 
see that he attacked me. <laughs> Out here. Dibot's finished with the most of the apartment. He has one more room. So mm -hmm. you didn't do the bedroom yet, did you? Nope. Okay. And then I get my beverage. Don't don't judge me. I like that you like making this like all calorie like counting and like you know exact grams and stuff, and then you're like monster. Yeah. It's zero calories. Yeah, but is that thing, isn't that just like nuclear like waste or something in that junk? Is this about health? <laughs> Probably not. This is about keeping your weight in check. This also keeps the weight in check with a boost. <laughs> <laughs> a toxic boost. don't get to enjoy your toast until D-Bot's on his uh, next trajectory. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that we were going to keep going here. I thought we were eating toast. Okay. So now you're just taking the big items. This is something we split, though. Like, sometimes I do this, sometimes you do this. Yeah. But you this took is... forever on the can this morning, so I, I got into it. I ordered a laptop from the toilet today, guys. <laughs> footage. Yep. I'm going to say that a lot during this uh, video. Oh, this is great. This is magical. This is cool though, your desk. I don't know, have we talked about this? It's like a medical desk. Mm -hmm. So it can go under the couch like that and it tucks into a lot of places. It also does this. Yeah. What a purchase. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Katie, I have a question. Yes. Why is the oh, nice pot, cock? Why is that over nice here? <laughs> we don't play that in the house. Nice cock. Nice cock. Double he could up. play it. He could play it in his world. What? He <laughs> could. He would get it. <laughs> I wish there was a small hand. I want to sew like a small hand on there. Why is that by the door? What happened? Oh, last night or for lunch, I had Odin, and the uh, the okay. bowl was too hot to hold, so I had to use this, and it was sitting there. But uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. I forgot to put it away. Now it's away. You have to turn off the light because Eric gets angry when the light's not off, <laughs> and I constantly don't turn that light off. Uh, before you start debut, you need to get the rest of the stuff out of the. I, I wouldn't normally do it, but I mean, I've got to, you know what I mean? I can't interrupt the, the wildlife. You know what I'm saying? Isn't there some rule or something? You interrupted the wildlife. The wildlife would have let the D-Bot eat your headphones. <laughs> it's true. What um, about yours? Did you check yours? Yours yeah. are the most dangerous ones. Everything, everything on my side has been good. Oh, okay. Oh, but you have to see this problem. Oh, it's like the side D -Bot's, of the... D-Bot's been eating these little, like strings. I recently cut it, but you can still see he comes up here and he just eats them. So this has been worrisome. Got to come up with some sort of solution. But I'm still going to let D-Bot have at it. I've had to come in here and unchoke him. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what verbiage that is. And then you sit on the couch <laughs> with your toast. Which is your favorite piece of toast? Oh, I love all of them. And I eat them, like, in... Going from one to the other. I don't finish one flavor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have a favorite. But, so you'll just eat, like, one bite, one bite, one bite, one bite, one bite, one bite. Is there one that you leave for last? Which is one's dessert? No, I usually just eat one bite, one bite, one bite. Yeah. And then when I finish, which I think is the to last myself bite. that was the, the dessert of today. Oh, so it's just and random. It doesn't matter which one. Do you, ever, wanna... do you ever stack them and combine flavors or anything? I have mixed them together, but it's not necessary. Time for a reward. <laughs> I gotta clean the shower.
this is going to be real exciting. You have to take the GoPro in there with you. <laughs> that's that's my um, Saturday morning activity is the uh, shower. I have some other things I have to do, but um, I'm going to do those after the shower. How was your weird toast? Was it exceptional? In it was way? great, and uh, today um, honey ended up being the dessert, and I ate it in a very systematic way. It was like two bites of each, just going around <laughs> like that. So yeah, honey was on this side, and that's why honey ended up being the dessert. And a uh, little tidbit is I'll drink some of this, and then I'll go off and do some other stuff, and then I'll come back to it. And that's that's like a reward for doing the things you're supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that when you're not here, I snipe little sips of that? I know that you do. <laughs> you snipe them in front of me. I'm not even surprised. So um, now we got to go to the bathroom and get that all going. Um, I don't know how you're going to set up cameras or whatnot, but that's the next area. <laughs> So when you're filming a nature documentary, you have to be prepared with all kinds of strange gear. So I've got some strange gear here. I've got a suction cup for this GoPro. <laughs> and I'm going to attempt to just suction it to the wall here. <laughs> and uh, hopefully it'll stay there and we can get a shot of the, um, the, the subject matter in its natural habitat <laughs> scrubbing, <laughs> scrubbing the, um, the shower area. Uh, you can see here, it's, uh, it's busy scrubbing the sink. <laughs> They shouldn't call you it's. That felt weird to say it's. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what did this? It was like a kitty having fun on her Saturday. This is real fun. Um, and now and now it's a nature documentary of this animal that no one's been able to capture. <laughs> I really should have set up hidden cameras all over the house and not even told you we were filming anything. That would have been the way to really have done this and had it be like supernatural. But you'd just be walking around picking your nose and stuff. Yeah, but it would have been fun. I, I think that that was a good idea. Mm, oh well. Maybe, maybe we'll do that next Saturday. <laughs> I feel weird when I clean these. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, then when I wash them, it, it feels really odd. But I, just, I put the suds on this for... Um, I guess I should explain that cleaning the shower is not only cleaning the shower. It's like cleaning all the things in the bathroom that are this type of material. Porcelain or whatever. Yeah, whatever the fuck this is. Yeah. Um, so I do this and now it's time to do the uh, toilet room. Oh, that's a lot of fun. Hold on, let me see if I'm going to be embarrassed about that. Why would you be embarrassed about it? Sometimes I there's poop streaks in the bottom of the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> ah. It looks like I have already cleaned it, man. That's great. I think I'm going to save the audience. <laughs> How'd the toilet go? The toilet's not done. I've just done the hand washing of the toilet. What happens next? Which, which basically means that, uh, and I've washed my hands now. Eric gets real weirded out. If I do anything with the toilet or raw chicken, like hands have to be washed <laughs> before, like, and they should be washed, but he's real paranoid about it. But the hands have been washed. Um, the next thing is you gotta take the brush and do the toilet bowl. Yeah. What? What did you, did you, what did you do? With your, oh, just you did like the outside and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I did the outside. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, now it's time for <laughs> so apparently these little walls that are inside of here have a texture on them so my suction thing didn't stick and my GoPro fell. So we've come up with a more rudimentary situation where I just kind of stuck it on a tripod so hopefully that'll, that'll give us the best view of the subject we can get. And um, now... It needs to work. <laughs> get out of the way. <laughs> Everything is clean now, including myself. Um, the shower, I've gotten it down to, wouldn't say a science, but I have a routine, yeah, I have a routine, because I think the science honestly could be a lot better. I could have better tools and better chemicals, but I do with what I've got, and it's definitely clean in there. I feel pretty good. I'm also clean, like, this is the cleanest you can be. Do you have a routine as well for the cleaning of this? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a routine. It's top to bottom. Top to bottom. <laughs> um, and yeah, so now I gotta figure out my clothes and what I'm gonna wear for today. Yeah. <laughs>
You're not just gonna go out in the in the towel. What is this? It's like a towel material, but it's a it's a robe. It's a robe. But I bought it and I didn't realize yeah. like how showed it is. Yeah, it's, you mean so I'll wear the hanging shout. flaps. <laughs> with the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Otherwise it feels real inappropriate. You think they have these in the States? These little steam bots? I think so. I don't know. But they don't have them in the States. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, you might be wondering why, why are you doing that to your heat tech? Because I'm going to wear my heat tech on the outside like a t-shirt and it's really wrinkly like it has been in my closet for forever. And the, uh, I also just got this new bot because I used to just wear wrinkles and <laughs> now I'm starting to rethink my life as an adult. Most of those chores are finished. Time for a reward. <laughs> it's <a> drugs. <laughs> as the people in the postcard club know, what I'm doing is not an every Saturday thing. It's a once a month thing. Um, the postcards are going to be going out in the next week. So what I need to do is create a spreadsheet using the Patreon website um, to figure out who has paid for a postcard and then I get all those names together and then I add Nana to it. And Nana always gets a card. Don't be jealous about Nana. Nana's in there for free because she's Nana. And uh, then I'm gonna send out all the postcards later today. I plan to go and print them. So I need to know how many to print before I go to the convenience store. Gosh, it's so convenient to do the postcards at the convenience <laughs> store. It's ridiculous <laughs> how well that's done. We've watched the news, I've drank my beverage, and we're heading out for lunch. Um, typically at restaurants, like Japanese restaurants, they may bring you a glass of water, but it'll be something that's about this big. So then they're gonna be like, why am I refilling this girl's cup so much? So I just drink it at home so they don't have to bother with it. And then it's extra if I have it on the table. So in general, we have two directions basically that we can walk out of our apartment to go find food. So sometimes to cut down on the number of places to choose from to eat, which there are tons of places to choose from to eat because we live in the middle of the city, we go, okay, do we have any other activities that are planned for the day? So that that at least puts us into a direction. And I'm assuming that's why we're walking the direction we're walking, right? Yeah, because the 100 yen shop is in this direction. And that is uh, one of my goals for before getting back to the house. <laughs> so I got to do a little shopping there. So we've narrowed down half of our restaurant choices to whatever is on the other side of the bridge. But other than that, you have no direction. We're just no. going to walk and find a thing. Yeah. Okay. Part of that is irritating. <laughs> Especially but if you're I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Well, that makes it worse, doesn't I it? I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta like eat breakfast and then plan out the next meal so that by the time you're ready for that meal, you're ready to go. That would be the real way to do this. You gotta get that into your system with your weird toast. Yeah. <laughs> but while I'm eating my weird toast, plan, plan the next Adventure. There you go. I'm gonna have to pee soon. <laughs> There's a little shop down the street from our house. It's over in the Sensoji area, so quite close to the big temple. And it just looks like a diner run by a mom and pop. And we came up and we were looking at the window and the mom came outside and was like, you should come in, you should come in. And uh, we took a second looked at what we could get and uh, I decided that I was going to get Hayashi rice because I don't make it at home. Eric never buys it for his curry type stuff because it's basically a curry dish that has more of a tomato base to it and uh, I just decided I don't have that at home very often so that is what I'm going to eat. And it's cooked by a Pop and brought by Mom. <laughs> uh -huh. standard home jams. I am not blown away, but I'm contented. fed. <laughs> contented is the word you look for when you come to these places, I think. Yeah, like happy, but still not blown away. Maybe if I get further into this, I'll be feeling different. I come back. That was good. Um, I, I'd say about halfway through that Hayashi really just it's not spicy or anything. I just like feel like the full flavor actually made itself known. I'm apparently full. 
<laughs> Thai body's reaction of saying, stop eating. <laughs> um, I, I would definitely come back to this place. I am pretty excited about the future meals here. Do <laughs> you remember what you were saying about the size of the water cups? <laughs> and I drank this whole thing before it came. And in the middle of my meal, I was like, I'd like more water, but they hadn't brought it, and I wasn't going to drink Eric's, so you can have your water. Oh, I appreciate it. I'm going to have to pee soon. <laughs> What's up next? Um, well, now we're going to, we need to find a 7-Eleven. You have to print the postcards at a 7-Eleven, and uh, we're head to the Hyakuen shop. But right now, I'm enjoying this pretty little room. What happened? Uh, this uh, is new. Uh, Ain't never seen this. Fika. This is a champion Fika. It looks all right. It's not time though. It says it's from Taiwan. It says it's Taiwanese kas kasutera. What is kasutera? Kasutera Why do I know that word? is a. Uh, it's kind of like a little loaf bread. Um, we had it in Nagasaki. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, I remember now. So we went to like some little shop. So that's what that is. Well, something smells good. I don't know yeah, if it's it. Yeah, it's the but... Melon Pond restaurant behind you. This <laughs> should... Okay, this section right here is ridiculous. <laughs> We've done a lot of commercing. We went to the Hard Rock Cafe store. We stared at a skirt together for a really long time. And uh, now I'm going to use the restroom. Oh, I thought you were going to the hall. shoe shop. No. <laughs> you were talking about shoes a second ago. That is a whole adventure that I went on like two weeks ago that I dropped like two hours into and got no shoes. <laughs> I, I can't be bothered with fashion, obviously. <laughs> Your pink pants look great. <laughs> you gotta jam when the beat's good. <laughs> um, I'm actually shopping for kind of a friend of a friend. Um, she just approached me and was like, my kids like Japanese stuff. She was willing to trade some stuff for a package from Japan, but I was like, don't worry about it. I'm more than happy to just send a package to your kids if they're excited about Japanese culture or just Japanese stuff in general. I don't know how these kids are getting exposed to this. I personally feel like as an adult, I can't get exposed to Japanese stuff in America. <laughs> but anywho, I'm looking at like random things that a girl under the age of 10 would like. Um, Gonna get some stamps that have Japanese on them and translate it so she knows what she's writing on things. Maybe get her excited about Japanese language, which would be gambate, good luck to you. <laughs> Found some like little eggs that you put in water and it slowly dissolves and an animal's inside. That's weird. These balloons, once you fill them up, they glow in the dark. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and I found a poo pen. <laughs> Pretty psyched about that. <laughs> it looks like it's blurring the bananas. Is that like some sort of are bananas out of the uh, out of focus? Or are, are they not allowed to be viewed in I the country no, now? I don't know, man. They've called out bananas. I uh, that's just the zebras though. That's just showing mm. us like what the that's on our view. You can't tell. Yeah, the bananas are probably <laughs> crisp to you, but to us they look really blurry. We came back to that place that had the Taiwanese kasutera. Mm -hmm. And it's this little breading type of thing, sweet bread thing that we have had in the past little in Japan. Little spongy. And I think this kas kasutera is a word from like French or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's, yeah. it's in katakana, so I get the impression it is not a local word. Yeah. Um, oh wow, it's really, it actually cuts through it really yeah, smooth. it's quite soft. It's really soft. So this was like, it's pretty small, but it was what, 350 yen? So something like, like that, Three dollars, yeah. 25 cents or something like that. And, and we're eating on the street and having a good time. What, uh, what is this to? This is to a, uh, a Saturday in the life of Katie. Okay. I tried to get your whip. That's all right. Mm. I mean, I think it's anything that's ch choco banana is all yep. right. About to get that banana. It tastes like kind of like a Hershey syrup to me. But what I worry about with the banana is that sometimes they refrigerate it. Oh, oh, oh. Don't worry, I'll save it. Sometimes they refrigerate it and they don't um, <laughs> let it thaw. And I think that it needs to thaw. So we're about to find out if the banana- You, you freeze your bread, son. Well, I, I also <laughs> thaw it. I'm not eating it frozen. <laughs> Have you ever had a piece of frozen bread? Mm -mm. It was like crunched into it like a snack? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> can't wait, can't microwave this bread. Good flavor on the banana. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, the banana's fine. It, the whole thing is a little bit boring, but you know, I'm not gonna like come back here. I'm not gonna like tell people they should eat this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't bother learning that name up there if you can see it. <laughs> that's, that's basically what you're saying. Um, I, I think that the cost is uh, a little higher than it needs to be. A little high for the size, mm -hmm. but that's fine. It's a fun little activity, and honestly, for Fika, we only go out for it like once a week. Yeah. Otherwise, it's stuff I found at the supermarket, which I find great things. <laughs> I'm supposed to drink this tea hot. <laughs> It's really hot. <laughs> it is hot. Now it's time to print the postcards and you come to 7-Eleven, you listen to the Christmas jams and it's a bit hit and miss on whether the first way it shows you the postcard is going to be the optimal way. Like so orientation you mean? Yeah, not orientation, but like the sizing. So uh -huh. your picture might not be perfect. So you have to play around with where it goes on the postcard. And uh, just want to give another note on Nana. If I mess up on a postcard, that's the one that goes to Nana. Because oh. <laughs> Nana doesn't care. <laughs> Ah, finished the postcards, it printed. We actually got interrupted by a couple who was printing their holiday cards. So we had to wait for a little while, but we've got our cards and we're heading back home to possibly watch Wayne's World <laughs> in 4K. <laughs> if it, does it exist in 4K? It should. I don't know. <laughs> This is totally unintentional, but today is turning out to be kind of a Patreon day. Um, we're doing the postcards kind of in the middle of that, but we're also going to shoot a discussion video, which entails just watching our video and making a list of like behind the scenes things and then making a video about that to share with people on Patreon. So today we are shooting a video that is the life in Katie on a Saturday. I Kate, can say no, that. What, what is it? The, sat the life a, in Katie on a, that's a, the perfect A day, day in the life. life. A Saturday in the life is what I was saying. A Saturday in the life of Katie, which so, is going to be coming at you in the future. We're currently shooting that and I'm actually worried because like I've been just doing a deep dive into my thoughts of all the things that we're doing and um, I, I worry he won't cut any of it out. I'm and, not going to cut any of it yeah, out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Don't make me look foolish. It's you making you look foolish. I just Dang it. <laughs> I just bring in the content. I, I don't edit. <laughs> so this is my favorite part of Katie Saturdays. <laughs> it usually happens on a weekend. Katie makes some food and it's killer. Mm. Sauce is weird but good. Um, basically it's just a salmon dish. I'm currently toasting the salmon. <laughs> um, We've decided to do this because we don't use oil in the house anymore. We had an oil issue, no more oil. So I toast it in here. I make some avocado and yogurt sauce. I just put avocado and yogurt, salt and pepper into a blender and it tastes tangy and wonderful. You don't need any more than that to make them happy. Um, then the salmon is toasting. I gotta flip it over now. Get them tongs out. Flip it, ninja. Flip it, ninja. Flip. <laughs> Any, anybody knows that callback? That's gonna be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then get out. Important thing to know: the seasonings we have in the house: salt, pepper. Shichimi. We have shichimi. We have shichimi. We have never tried that on this. It doesn't need it. Nope. Eric doesn't really like salt, so we don't go too hard down that road. Loaded up a pepper, baby. Yep. <laughs> the end 
results of this meal are drastically different between the two of us. I like mine in a bowl format. Eric likes his as a plate. Also, Eric's not eating lettuce at the moment, so I've made him some eggplant on the side, oh, whereas that's that's... mine is all lettuce underneath, underneath. here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not going to go into giving you like a taste review because we eat this every weekend, literally, that we're in town and that for would tell you like a year good. or something. It's really good. It's one of my favorite things. Like I look forward to this meal all week long. And, and I thought to myself, like if somebody said, can you just cook me a meal? This is what I would cook. But it's yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It's the only meal I've cooked in 2020. It's really, <laughs> it's really healthy, and it's just. And then you get this, this, this situation. This is my favorite part. That's the extra sauce. And that's the extra sauce, and then you could just get to slurp it off the spoon like a barbarian. But it's dessert. It's, <laughs> yeah. So this is like my favorite weekend ritual by far, without a doubt. So your favorite weekend ritual is the eating. Yeah, you're, the meal you make me. Mm, the meal you, my favorite ritual is the meal you make me. Like it's not like going out and having a meal someplace else or whatever. Those things are fun and fine, but this is there's something special about this. This is like that's flattering as fuck. Well. Yeah, this is really <laughs> this oh, is really know, my favorite thing. We could be going out and having a meal somewhere. No, I'll just stay here. Sometimes you're like, I'm thinking about making something besides the salmon this week, and I'm like, What are you talking about? Don't make nothing else. Make have, the salmon. I have another idea. <laughs> well, we got to the put that third, on the. I, I, honestly, I think I made an egg McMuffin this meal, and if I make whatever that idea is before 2020 is out, those are the three meals I made in 2020. We made quesadillas, but it burnt mm. my face, so I don't count it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Anyway, it's salmon time, y'all. Eric, I've only got two more left. Which Which phase of this are you on? Currently. I'm on uh, the addressing phase. Typically, this doesn't happen all in one day. Um, uh, the postcard post stuff, right? I think right? personally, I feel a little bit, usually, I like to have the postcard sent out by uh, the second Thursday. It is currently the second Saturday. Ooh. So I feel really like I haven't treated this right. That's some super honesty right there. Um, uh, you're like, as long as they get out by the end of the month, and I'm like, second Thursday. I've just chosen some arbitrary day. Why Thursday? Why the second one? I don't know. But that that's my thought. Um, and uh, so I think today I will get through addressing. So the phases are make the spreadsheet, print the cards, address, and then write a message. Um, I don't think I'll have time for messaging tonight. It's just It's 10.30 now, so I just... You gotta do what you can with each day. And I feel like I've maxed out today. We didn't get to watch Wayne's World, but we did watch Jojo Rabbit, and that was really good. I got new gloves for doing the dishes, and I want you to smell this glove. You want me to sniff a glove? Sniff the glove. <laughs> I don't know if I can get down on this. Ooh, I don't like it. It's really- You it's know what it is? Bad. Tic Tacs. What? Tic-tacs. Tic You'd be eating rancid tic I get the, the, the tip of, yeah, like the very there. tip of the smell. Yeah, the sweet part of the smell. I don't know why these smell sweet. They smell sweet and they also smell rubber glovey. So I, I see the smell that you weren't enjoying. But uh, I'm trying out these bad boys. They got the tightness up at the top. I wanted it to go up higher. I would like for <laughs> them to go like all the way up here. Maybe if you just had the shorter shorter arms. Because when I do the dishes, since the uh, the water goes down here, sometimes I don't know how to explain oh, why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I would like that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, do you like doing the dishes? I do like doing the dishes. Um, Cause you always seem excited about it. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with it. It's a little bit late right now, so, but I know I need to do it or it's going to get really funky. And I don't just do the dishes. I clean the sink every night so that it doesn't smell bad. Otherwise it gets really, really terrible. And the day that I realized you could just easily swipe through this and clean out the little filter or whatever that is down there every day. My life has been so much better. Your, life, it, your whole life is systems. It has improved the quality of my life, surprisingly. <laughs> Just cl doing that one little swipe through every night. This is not a weekend-only activity. 
This is an every night activity. You got a hell of a pile over there. Is that just one apple or is that many apples? That's just one apple. And this is the one piece of the one apple you get. Because <laughs> the rest is mine. <laughs> Tell folks about your, your ritual. What is, what is this that you enjoy? This is the day's dessert. Everything has desserts. There's no dessert to Fika. It in itself is the dessert. It is true. Yeah. Um, I, I have an apple every night. You like to cut it up too. And you got a cutty cutty over here. Like an apple knife. When we travel, you bring an apple knife with you. Yeah. Until they took the, until the TSA took it away. <laughs> Not allowed to have a knife on the plane. And the TSA took my cutty cutty away. <laughs> it doesn't really Indeed fit. They did, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is pretty much the last thing to the evening. I'll go and brush my teeth after this, and then I think we're both gonna fall asleep very quickly. Yeah, I'm pretty wiped out too. It's been a busy day. Mm, absolutely. You like clean the entire apartment, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I and made an amazing meal, and went shopping. You did. You did. Yeah. You did. I pay the bills. You pay the bills, as yeah. in you would I mean, I go generally and I, I go do and, this, yeah, or I go you did it pay, today? I go and pay the bills. I do, uh, my thing is, is, I just hang out on Saturdays. You know what I'm saying? I do all my other my chores during the week. Oh, yeah, that's, you that's, know, you gotta lean that's into a the nice weekend. luxury. You gotta, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta lean into the weekend. <laughs> I forgot about the trash. You gotta take it out. Fun things that happen in the trash are that I try to get the trifecta of recycling. I don't believe we've done it today. The trifecta is plastic, glass, and aluminum. I think we've only got aluminum and plastic. This is crap I play by myself. This, these are games I play by myself. I'm, I'm learning things. Yeah, you are learning things. how that works. <laughs> I want to make a video of the trash area. Like just like a video, like film a video in here. Well, we're doing that right now, but like I wanted to do one explaining what all the things are. Um, like what we're supposed to recycle, how it works here and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Do some research into like what is happening. Now the next game that I play in the trash area <laughs> is that sometimes the drum on the other side will start working. I call that winning the lottery, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna see if we win the lottery. You gotta put your stuff in. We didn't win the lottery. It just spins or something. Yeah, like it just makes it. noise and I, then, then I go, yeah. The amusement that I give myself <laughs> is weird. Hold on, is there anything special in here? No. But that's the end of the night at the trash area. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> that's messed up, Aaron. <laughs> what are you up to? Olives after midnight. <laughs> you thought you were in the clear because it's Sunday morning now? No, I just thought you were too sleepy and you wouldn't notice. It's 1 a.m. and you're over here eating olives. Yeah. You're going to bring that olive bread to bed. I am. You're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> this is a pretty much every night occurrence. <laughs> Walk shame. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with us on a Saturday, checking out what Katie does on a Katie Saturday. If you want to help keep making these videos possible, then the best way to do that is through helping us out on Patreon. You can check out to uh, see some perks and some things you can get from uh, signing up and just uh, contributing through that. And uh, we also have got a link to our PayPal down below and a link to our Amazon wish list. So if uh, you just wanted to help us with gear directly, that would be the best way to do that. But uh, most of all, you can also just, you know, subscribe and like the video and stuff. That helps train the Google algorithms that uh, you like us, and then maybe other people will find us too. So that's also appreciated.
Make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and my favorite place, Instagram. We also have a Discord server. Feel free to drop by and hang out there as well. More from the island of Sado is on its way soon.